So you've probably been using your phone a lot more lately, especially now that you're working from home. However, are you using it in the most healthy way that you possibly can? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing my top four health and fitness apps that are literally the best fitness apps that you can have, especially if you're working from home. Home. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help you live a more hype life. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So the first app is the Nike training app. This app is made by Nike and I love this app. One of the specific reasons why is because of the fact that you can basically customize your workout. Not only can you choose what muscle group, whether it's upper body, lower body, core, but whatever it is that you wanna focus on, you could choose it. You can also base it off of your time availability. So if you think about it, if you only have 20 minutes in between like a meeting and you wanna get something in, you can actually do that and choose 20 minutes. And then lastly, it goes by the amount of equipment that you have, so you can either do body weight and no equipment, lightweight, or you have a full-fledged gym. The second thing I love is that you actually have a person showing you how to do the exercises. It's not live, but it's a real person who's showing you correct form, and it's like really, really cool that they do that throughout the whole entire workout. And the last thing I love is actually the premium feature. I don't use it, I've done the trial before, but it's basically a six to eight week program that you can choose, whether it's like using, improving your flexibility, your strength, um, getting a little bit more toned, but you can go do a six to eight week program that's very customized based off of what you have available to you. My second favorite app, and I've actually talked about it uh, before, is MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal is extremely, extremely helpful to understand what your intake looks like. Now that I've been tracking my food since working from home, I've actually noticed that my diet has totally changed and totally shifted from when I was working. I basically was just eating whatever was on hand and I wasn't really thinking about nutrition, I was just thinking about access. Tracking that through my fitness pal, I was able to see what I was doing wrong and how I could turn it around. And then another great feature of MyFitnessPal is they have a huge library of different foods and its search function. So basically, I've literally gone to different restaurants in New York City and they've had them in there. You could scan barcodes at a grocery store. You're gonna basically find whatever it is that you need to find in MyFitnessPal. My third favorite app is called Swarkit. It is an ad specific workout app and wow, it's really, really good. If you think about it, if you're sitting at a desk all day, especially if working from home, you're gonna put a lot of strain on your lower back. And the best way to support that is to have a really strong core. And this app, they separate the workouts between ab specific. They also have something that's more core focused, which is something I actually recommend to a lot of you. And then finally, you also have the absolute abs, which basically covers both, which is doing core as well as abs. And that's the one that I typically do the most. You can basically set it to the specific time that you want to. So whether it's like five minutes or eight minutes or 10 minutes, what I like to do is I started from like four minutes and then each week I'd progress it by about 30 seconds to a minute. And then now I'm around like nine minutes, 10 minutes, but it's just super cool how you could do that. And you can actually see how you're progressing. My fourth favorite fitness app and one that I think is very severely underrated is my auto sleep or sleep watch app. It's super important to understand how you are sleeping each night because that leads to the amount of energy you have the next day as well as how productive you are the next day. So one of the main things I love about this app is the fact that you can actually see the different levels of sleep, whether you're in deep sleep, light sleep, if you had interrupted sleep, were you restless? It goes through all of those. You could see based off of the different time frames what level you are at. And this is super helpful to understand if you're getting really good quality sleep. Another feature that I really love is the fact that it will alert you when you should start getting ready for bed. So something I've been starting to do is actually keeping my phone away from me at my desk and turning off all the lights, turning off any type of blue lights and reading before I go to bed. And what that does is it helps my body just to relax and get ready to go to sleep. And I think that's just super, super useful, especially when we think about apps nowadays. We need apps that give us that next step. It's great to understand how much weight we're lifting. It's great to understand like where we stand, how much sleep we're getting, but really that next level insight is what we need. It's basically having a health coach in your pocket. Question of the day, what is your favorite health and fitness app that you have on your phone? Let me know in the comments below because you never know, you might know something that somebody doesn't or something that I didn't clarify, so please put it in the comments below. I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, go ahead, compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo! Ab work, it's an, it's an ab workout app. Ab workout app. My fourth and final fitness health app. Fourth final fitness. Fourth final fitness. Say that five times. Fourth final fitness. Fourth final fitness. Fourth final fitness. Fourth final fitness.